G'day team, Jeremy Britton, 24 hour wealth coach. In the park, nearby the beach, after my sunrise meditation. <clears throat> Feeling very mellow this morning. Um, in my life, in my journey, in my radio show, I've spoken to a lot of millionaires, I've spoken to a few billionaires. And yesterday I spoke to Larry Jacobson who hasn't gone from zero to a million dollars the hard way and learned lots of lessons like most of the people that I speak to. He's a guy who actually invested over a million dollars finding out about happiness and um, his journey around the world finding out what truly makes you happy. And then yesterday afternoon I had a lovely Reiki session with Jane Snell in Nembo and feeling very mellow of course after the meditation this morning. But, um, I've actually got a, um, a little pennant, I guess you'd say, on my wall at home. And it's a quote by Buddha saying, the three things that are necessary for happiness is something to do, someone to love, and something to hope for. Now, many of us find things to do, and I hope you're truly following your passion and doing absolutely what you love, rather than doing something that you feel that you have to do. And I'm hoping that you've got something to hope for, because everybody needs something to hope for. And the one that a lot of people get confused about is someone to love. And I have a few of my single friends, so this is probably dedicated to you guys, guys and girls. If you're single, a lot of the single people are out there looking for someone to love them. And Buddha didn't actually say that the secret to happiness is to getting someone to love you you've got to have someone to love. If you've ever seen a mother who's just had a newborn baby, she just grabs that baby really tight and goes, oh my God, I love this baby, you know? And the baby hasn't done anything to deserve that. And the mother's very, very happy. The parents, very, very happy. They've got this new baby. They just decide they're gonna love that new baby. They don't look at the baby and go, well, love me back. <laughs> Come on, love me back. I'm not just here as a food source, or as a source of entertainment for you. They don't expect anything back from the baby. It's truly unconditional love. When you decide to love someone else unconditionally, you actually get happier. You have to work your heart muscle. You've got to exercise that little sucker because how do you get to love someone unconditionally? Well, first you've got to practice. You know, Can you love your former partner? Can you feel love for someone, just a random stranger on the street, even for just 10 seconds? Practice doing that just for 10 seconds. Just look at someone and say, hey, you know, they might not be my ideal person. They might not be my lifetime partner that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. But they've had joy. They've had sadness. Perhaps they had a difficult upbringing. Perhaps their parents chose the wrong religion or didn't teach them about nutrition and exercise. And perhaps they look a little bit wonky or a little bit funny from my perspective. But who says my perspective is right? I can just love that person because like me, they went through life, they made some choices, made some wrong choices, made some right choices, and they had some choices thrust upon them. So if you can decide to love someone unconditionally, even just for a moment, then you can experience true happiness. You don't need someone else to love you. Maybe you've got to start with loving yourself first, and that could be one of the secrets to your happiness, whether you're on your own or whether you're in a relationship. Talk to you soon, down on the beach or at 24hourwealthcoach.com.